What's up guys, I'm Mike and you're in the Ultimate Tech Hub. On today's episode, we're gonna unbox, assemble, and review this gaming chair from Respawn. And make sure to smash that subscribe button, it's free. Are you ready? This Respawn gaming chair is the RSP210, and it retails for $149. This chair comes in five different colors, red, purple, gray, blue, and white. This gaming chair can hold up to 275 pounds. So guys, today we're going to do something a bit different. We're going to unbox the gaming chair, and then we're going to review it, fully assembled. And then after the review, we'll show you the assembly process. We decided the review was more important than assembling the chair. And we thought many viewers would not make it to the end of the video for the review. However, there'll be a timestamp here, so you can jump to the assembly process if you want to see that. All right guys, now that we're done unboxing the Respawn gaming chair, these are all the parts that come with it. This chair is assembled with an Allen wrench, which is provided. Okay guys, now we're on to the review. And just a heads up, we purchased this gaming chair. It was not provided free of charge. So guys, the three things I wanna talk about with this gaming chair is first, the overall look. Second, the comfort level. And lastly, the overall functionality. So let's talk about the look of the chair. Like I said, there's five different colors and we chose red. And the red and black look really good together. And this chair is definitely a racing style gaming chair. And even though the black color dominates the chair, the splashes of red throughout really are striking. And they could have easily overdone it with the red. It really is the perfect balance. And no matter what color you get, this chair should look good in any gaming room. So next, let's talk about the comfort level of the gaming chair. There are a total of six cushions on this chair. The main seat cushion, the headrest, the two armchairs, the footrest pad, and the optional lumbar pad for your lower back. So over the last couple of weeks, we've tested this gaming chair while playing games or doing basic productivity on our computer. And we found the comfort of this chair is exceptional, especially the lumbar support, the pad for your lower back, I have a bad lower back and this cushion is incredible. But the best part about this chair is the extendable footrest. To have the option to stretch your legs out and put your feet on a cushion adds another level of comfort that most chairs just don't have. And since we're talking about the footrest, let's go ahead and talk about the overall functionality of this gaming chair. You'll find two levers underneath the gaming chair. The lever towards the front is the up and down lift and the lever towards the back is to adjust the recliner. And having the option to recline your chair is not typical in most gaming chairs. And what's nice about this reclining gaming chair is the armrest swivel as you recline the chair, which adds to more comfort. And perhaps the best thing about this chair is that extendable footrest. When you're not using the footrest, it slides underneath the main cushion of the chair. And when you want to use the footrest, you just slide it out and flip the pad up. Easy. And lastly, this gaming chair comes with five wheels. Now these wheels are plastic, but they feel pretty durable. And moving around this chair is pretty easy. So guys, if you're looking for a gaming chair that's comfortable, looks great, and has lots of functionality, then this chair could be the one for you. And we'll have links in the description below to where you can buy this chair. And as promised, here is the assembly of the chair. Just a heads up, it took us about 25 minutes to assemble the chair. The only tool needed was the Allen wrench that comes with the chair. So guys, don't forget to visit our Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And as an added bonus, we'll give you a shout out in our next video. And as usual guys, I wanna thank you for watching. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. 
If you love them, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thanks again for watching. Forgot to put this on. I'll do that now.